Hey everyone, and uh, thanks for tuning in. So today is going to be kind of a different video. Uh, I'm going to give my two cents on uh, this whole secret layer, as well as this unsanctioned uh, set that's dropping here, um, which maybe not a not many of you are even familiar with because I don't know you just haven't heard about it. But we're going to talk about all them today. Now, as we know, secret layer uh, year of the rat. This one just dropped recently. And um, I, I opened it up on the channel. You guys all saw that. Well, Wizards of the Coast has announced they're going to be doing five more starting um, with the next uh, big like world championship, basically. And that's going to be on February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. So on February 14th, Wizards is going to drop five new uh, secret layers, which it's kind of it, uh, this whole secret layer thing. Okay, what is it? For those of you who are not hip to it, basically, secret layer they take uh, a bunch of cards that are very sought after, and uh, I'll, I'll show you them right now. And they all they offer you alternate art, and the artwork, without a doubt, is really cool. Some of them are foil, some are non foil. Um, I think this is one I ended up getting was uh, the Life from the Loam, the Golgari Thug, the Blood Gas. You only get so many cards in inside of one of these. It's limited, and it's always like kind of like a theme, you know, or whatnot, or like sticking to specific colors. Like there was one, uh, for instance, the Reaper King, the Sliver Overlord, the Ur Dragon, you know. Then they had the Bitter Blossom. Uh, these are not uh, they're not really cheap per se. Um, and yeah, they're technically reprints. Again, I gotta, I gotta mention the art, man. The art is so cool on these sets. However, um, they do cost money <laughs> like anything else in magic. And a lot of people are questioning, well, is this a cash grab by wizards? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously hundred billion percent. It's a cash grab by wizards, but if you look at the other side of that glass, is the glass half empty or half full? Well, on Wizards, it's looking pretty, you know, half full. On yours, and you might be thinking it's half empty. You know, you might be missing out on something, but really, you're not. If you do end up purchasing one of these, the resale value on some of this stuff is redonkulous. I went over the year of the rat, which I opened, and I broke down all the value. If you guys want to go back and check out that video, you're more than welcome to. Um, it was less than a week ago, and the value on the year of the rat was ridiculous. It was exceeding the value, uh, or how much I paid for it, tenfold. Like it was, it was out there, man. And these are cards you can resell, you know, yourself on the secondary market, and whatnot, you know. But Wizards is basically saying, hey, we know you want these cards. Well, here we're just gonna give them to you. Forget the whole Master Series crap. Let's just get rid of that. You guys wanted to complain about the whole Master Series. Well, they basically did away with the Master Sets. And now we're looking at these these small contained little uh, these little Master Sets. Why am I bleeding? What happened? I don't know. I'm bleeding right here. Anyway, uh, that's a different note. But uh, Master Sets, yeah. They did away with the whole Master Set thing. That's really, really weird, we all kind of thought. Like, we were like, oh, why? What's going to be coming next? And then they introduced this whole Mythic Edition set, you know, which is per set with the new stuff. And then they dropped this, um, what was it, um, the other one that came after that. Uh, uh, it was another one of those modern sets. Um, it wasn't Modern Masters. They got rid of the whole Master sets. And it was uh, something modern. I opened up a ton of these boxes on the channel. If you guys uh, can recall the name of it, I can't think of it right now. But it dropped over the summer. And that was really cool. And it it offered new cards uh, into Magic the Gathering. It offered new cards for modern. And uh, surprisingly, actually not surprisingly, a lot of these cards ended up getting banned. Now, of course, behind you, this is still um, the uh, secret layer sets right now. But... Um, a lot of these cards that I'm getting banned that were really good. And then they kind of tanked the value on that whole Modern modern Horizons. There you go. Modern Horizons set. You know, it kind of tanked the value on it a little bit. Because, well, what's the point if you can't play any of these awesome cards? You know, some of them still stuck around. I was really happy in that set that they did drop um, Urza, you know, of all things. I'd love to see him as Planeswalker form. That didn't happen. But without going too far off, uh, off here... After all that, they decided they're going to do these secret layers. And um, they just take uh, a few cards, a handful of cards, according to a little you know theme or whatnot. This one was interesting, uh, but they did the cats, the cat theme. And then they did Serum Visions. They got a bunch of artists together, and they're like, all right, um, here, 
drop some really cool, sweet looking art, you know, or just different out there. And we're going to make four different serum visions out of it. And that's exactly what they did. And then you can buy and you can only get these cards in that uh, limited little series. And the craziest thing, these are only around for a very, very short time. If you want to get your hands on one of these, um, the very first time they did this for all these sets, the serum visions, the cats, uh, the goblins, and uh, yeah, the, all these up here. It was only for a very limited time. It was one week, and like every 24 hours, I believe um, they would they would kick out they would kick it out. So you only had one day, 24 hour period, to get your hands on these these cards, you know, with these different artworks. You can go and of course buy the original ones. And there was a lot of people worried, what was the price going to drop, you know? And um, the price did come down a very, very, very tiny bit. It was like minuscule difference. There was not much difference. And the price on these cards are already going back up, um, which it just goes to show you when there's only a 24-hour window where you can get your hands on these cards. I, w I wish I would have got my hands on the Goblin ones. Um, that With that limited amount of time... It, it can't really impact the market too much. And that's kind of, I think, what Wizards was trying to do, with, with not trying to upset too many people. And then, of course, you're going to have the other side uh, where people are like, oh, man, I can't get my hands on this. This stinks. You know, like you don't have the money for it. Uh, you missed your window. You didn't know it was dropping. Whatever the case may be, you know. Well, guess what? You can't really argue that because I'll show you there's ways to get your hands on these after the fact. The problem is... You're not going to pay the same price because the new secondary market taking over Wizard's secondary market here, which took over the actual secondary market, holy secondary market. This is a ball of confusion. Um, they sell them at, uh, you know, an inflated price, you know, for good reason, because there's money to be made on them now. You know, these are very small, limited print run. This is the most recent one, which was uh, Year of the Rat. I am actually Year of the Rat, 1984. Now you know. Just dated myself there, guys. I know I look like a young buck, good 25-year-old stunner. All right. But, you know, um, this is really cool. I, I, I do like them. Personally, I like them. And I am in the minority when I say that. And I'm sure, uh, you know, you guys are not going to like me saying that. But I like the rare stuff, okay? I like the limited edition stuff. What I don't like has been the, the printing... Um, I'll just get to this next page here. Here's where here's like a resale. I'm not advertising for TCG Player at all. Okay, this is just um, where you can get your hands on these. Where people say, "Oh, they they don't sell them out there." Yeah, you can go on eBay. You can buy the entire set right here. Uh, you know, three twenty five eighty eight. Is that worth it? I mean, down the road maybe. You know, I'm not saying go buy this. I don't want anyone to go out and buy this stuff right now. Uh, but if you are to buy this stuff, buy it. As it releases, buy it as this as this new set drops. You know, when they do the secret layer thing on February 14th, Valentine's Day, you can go out there and I'm even going to show you the address because a lot of people don't even know where the, the, the address is. It's like it's so secret. I'm just going to give you the stinking address, okay? Um, now, yeah, I, again, I know some people are not going to like me for talking about this stuff. I don't really care, honestly. Um, I just think I wanted to get my two cents on it. I... I am for this because for everyone complaining about modern master sets and how they're so expensive and you can't even get what you want. Well, this it's taking the modern master sets and just saying, you want these cards? Here you go, buddy. And they kind they're, they're selling them almost at the same price, maybe a slight discount when they initially do it, you know, but the value and actually some of them, like the new prints, people want these, they want their hands on them, you know, um, like a rat colony, the rat colony ones were insane. These are like $6 a pop, $7 a pop for, for each. You get five in one of them. The whole thing costs $39.99. Do the math on just the rats right there alone. You almost got your full value. Not to mention all these cards over here. I mean, and then you get a mystery card. This mystery, like, glass uh, glass pane planeswalker that comes inside each one of these. Which, that adds value. One I pulled out was like 25 bucks. I mean, and if it only cost me $39.99, you know, the return value on these is definitely there. Um, it is a hundred billion percent there. So for people complain, I, I, I guess I'm, I'm kind of confused about what really the complaint is. You're mad at wizards for making money on the company that they created. Well, you got to understand Hasbro really, they own wizards of the coast now. Okay. They've owned them for a long time. They are, are basically the people behind the mask. You know, they're, they're the one pulling the puppet strings. Watsy really doesn't have that much say. They're kind of told what to do. So you can't really get too upset with wizards. I mean, well, you can, they kind of sold out, whatever, who cares? Do you like the game? Do you like the game? Do you like playing magic? 
I like playing Magic. I love playing Magic. So I don't really get behind all the politics and crap behind it, you know. I just play the dang game. I don't care about what he said on Pro Tour, what she did, or how this is affecting this person. I don't care. You know, this is life, man. You People are going to be butthurt. That's, that's life out there. This is just a game. I just want to focus on the game. The cards, the fun, the prices, the value, the ups, the downs, you know. I don't want to get into all the, all the um, you know, the butthurtness out there. Because there's a lot of it, you know, and it stinks. Anyway, moving forward, though. what My, my final thoughts on this, we're getting to the next stuff. I think this is great. I think this is phantasmo. I think it's a great way... Um, for wizards to to make a lot of people happy, and at the same time to make a lot of people unhappy, you know, because everyone's up in arms. A new product! Ah! All you guys always do is just get your friggin' your your uh, your your your, uh, your your torches going, you know, and your pitchforks, and you always throw a fit. I've seen it so many times. I used to do it too. I would throw a fit all the time when something new came out, cause I'm like, oh, you know, it's like mob mentality. Like, why would you do this to us? Blah, 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 blah. You know that 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 was don't don't ever meme that one. Uh, but like really, um, th- it's a game meant to be fun and, and played. You know, and they're trying to get cards that a lot of people want. You know, th- this is played all the time in modern. Blood guess life from the loan played all the time in modern. Um, you know, these, some of these other cards very good for commander and whatnot. You know, a lot of people want their hands on them. Bitter Blossom again played in commander or played played in modern played all over the freaking place. This card, okay. So they're they're trying to reduce the price and give you some special kind of little thing on them. And yeah, they're making money. It doesn't take them much to make these things. You know, they come in a little box like this right here. What's this box cost? A, a half a cent. All right, and then they come in this nice little styled box right here, the secret layer box. And this actually is kind of nice. I do like the box, the presentation, and everything. But I'm not. I don't care to pay for that. You know, I just want to get the dang cards out of there. And then you get something like this, you know, almost like a, if a watch was to be put in there. Very interesting stuff, nonetheless. My thoughts. In a nutshell, on this product, I like it, okay? And I'm in the minority when I say that, okay? Um, but those are my thoughts, all right? I want to hear your guys' thoughts because I'm just a little voice here. I don't really, you know, have too much say in the community and whatnot. I just, I, I occasionally throw my thoughts out there. But what matters is the group as a whole, the community. What are your guys' thoughts on all of the secret layer? Will you go out and purchase them? Where can you get them is the other question some of you might um, want to know. And that's simple. It's right here, secretlayer.wizards.com forward slash US. There you have it. For anyone that wants to get their hands on them, it's that simple. You got to wait for the day of, and then you jump on it, baby. You just jump on it. You go and get yourself it. It's that simple, okay? I'm not promoting this for wizards. I don't care. I'm just trying to give information to people because I heard a lot of people say, I didn't know where to get it. I would have bought some, you know? And there's limit how many you could buy. I think a year of the rat, you were only allowed 10 at max, or was it six? I mean, if someone knows the actual number, by all means, please let me know um, or let other people know. But this is a very hot topic. I just haven't touched on it, and I thought I would today. I'll be, I will be dropping another video after this, um, and then I'll be doing shipping in between. Um, but yeah. Here's unsanctioned. This thing, I'm not too certain about, okay? This is uh, unsanctioned. Um, Oh, and one more thing. Yeah, they're dropping five new ones. The five new ones, we don't have too much information on the five new sets that are coming out for uh, Secret Lair. Other than they're probably going to be gods, okay? You're going to get like five different gods. Uh, It's my guess, okay? There was a mention, uh, a little short video, and it looked like, you know, the whole theme, the Nyx was thrown out there. Um, there, it's probably going to be a God based set. Um, the Starfield mystic, I think, you know, artwork appeared somewhere. So that's probably what's going to happen, uh, for the next five sets that are going to be dropped and they're going to be bing, bang, boom, bang, bong. And then they're gone. Okay. And then you have to pay a ridiculous price after that. So if you do, if you're interested in the gods, which I really am, I'll probably get one of each, perhaps, maybe, uh, maybe not. My cash flow is probably not that high, but, um, very interesting stuff. So yeah, five more coming out February 14th. Secret Lair, that's how you go about getting them, because I know a lot of you guys missed out. All right, moving forward. Unsanctioned, what the crap is this? I'm not really too uh, too certain either. Choose two wacky silver-boarded 30 card decks, shuffle them together, and watch the mayhem unfold. And Sanctioned is a ready-to-play, unset experience. Inside, you'll have... Uh, inside you'll find 30 card, I have all the cards for you, monocolored decks, each designed to synergize with one another. Each player combines two decks and a 60, yada, 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 yada. Um, so basically they're taking a bunch of wacky cards and you go at it. They, now here's the cool thing they these lands, it's always about these lands and these unsets, um, full art, basic lands, um, with all new artwork, full art, 
uh, basic lands, all new artwork yet again. Some some tokens, some cards, yada yada. What do they look like? Here are the cards. Now, if I'm not mistaken, a wall's already been printed. Adorable kitten. A lot of these cards seem like I've seen them already before. So they're probably reprints from past uh, unsets, like like the hummingbird. That was a, that's a reprint. Are all of these just reprint? Frankie Peanuts. Now, if you if you read closely, um, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may ask target player a yes or no question. If you do, that player answers the question truthfully and abides by that answer if able until end of turn. It's kind of like a it's a game in a game. I mean, really is what it's it, it's a game inside of a game inside of a game because there's a lot of really whacked out things that go on here. Look at me, I'm the DCI. Um, like, uh, j just to give you another idea, let's just, what is this? Look at me, I'm, I'm R&D. As, uh, it's an enchantment. As look at me, I'm R&D, choose a number, and, uh, whatever, uh, there's a number, one or higher. All instances of this first chosen. It's a wacky set, man. I don't know what to tell you. This one has Knight Lifelink. Damage dealt by knights you control also causes you to gain that much life. So instead of just saying all knights have lifelink, they, I guess... Put Night Life Link on this one. How fun. Alexander Clamilton. You know, they make some spins on, uh, that's Alexander Hamilton, I'm assuming. Um, uh, they make some spins on uh, some, some politicians, I guess, from back in the day, or some leaders of the country, um, you know, or, uh, you know, chiefs, whatever the case may be, captains, drill sergeants, I don't know. Um, they make spins on, on just tons of stuff. And um, Cheaty Face, Cheaty Face. If Cheaty Face is in your hand, you may sneak Cheaty Face into the battlefield. If an opponent catches you right away, that player may exile Cheaty Face flying. Uh, is this something you guys want to see me open on the channel? That's something else um, I haven't really discussed whatsoever. But uh, I can get one of these and crack around open. I'm just not sure if there's enough interest on this topic or uh, for the unset. Because it's not like before. They have um they have two sets that are oh by, for anyone who doesn't know this is the creator of Magic the Gathering Richard Garfield he's actually a genius when it comes to board games and tabletop games he's made dozens and dozens of them you know um and that's just what he does he's he's, he's freaking awesome uh, but if it wasn't for this guy right here yeah we would not have Magic the Gathering so hats off to you thank you very much Richard Garfield appreciate you man um but what uh outside. <sighs> I guess other than just having the cards um, and playing a fun little game, I think the only takeaway from this entire set, um, a booster tutor, there you go. Um, my, my only takeaway out of this entire set would probably be the lands. Uh, the artwork's really fun. Uh, the games you can play with this are pretty fun. Here's a, here's a what is this, a 9-9 nine, nine flying first strike trample haste. The spell costs three less to cast. For each card you've revealed this turn, um, whatever enters the battlefield, you may say, I'm here. If you do, it deals three damage target player. A lot of fun little things, you know, and you can proc a whole lot of stuff just by, you gotta, it's, a, it's in my opinion, it can become a game of memory. Because you gotta remember a lot of triggers and a lot of things to say and do and, and to act and put your hand on your head, you know, whatever the case may be, for an effect to take place, you know. Or if your opponent forgets to do something, then he gets punished for it. It's a game like that, which can be fun. Maybe something for the kids, you know, to play. I don't know. Um, or even something fun to play, um, you know, uh, with a group of people on a Friday or Saturday night, you know, bust this out and have some fun with that. But uh, I don't like the approach. I don't like that it's not actually in an unset, um, like a booster box where, you know, open up uh, the sealed cards or from sealed booster packs. I don't think they're going that route. I believe you just get the 30 card decks, you know, whatever, and, uh, and you start playing away with them. There's a bunch of a Goblin Tutor. A lot of really cool cards. Uh, that's a fun little spin on uh, Wheel of Fortune there. Um, strategy, Scamatagy, what? Scam, Scamatagy? Strategy, Scamatagy. I get it. Fun. Yet another Aether Vortex. There you go. Oh, little giraffe getting swallowed up. Um, really cool art yet again. But uh, my thoughts on this, I don't know, man. Um... They did bring back some oldies but goodies. Old Fogey, he's been around forever. I think from one of the first unsets. Uh, same with this Elvis impersonator over here. So it's like um, a, a reprint, the rehashing, uh, you know, this whole entire set. Um, or all the unsets, you know, throwing them on here. Even this, I think, has been done before. Yeah, this one's been printed before. Timmy Power Gamer, there you go. 
Just uh, a whole lot of crazy shenanigans. Uh, Sword of Dungeons and Dragons, that was recently done. So they're reprinting unsets now. That's kind of scary because the value goes down on these unset cards. I'm not even sure I'm a fan of that. Anyway, but I guess it makes it more affordable for people to play them. Whatever. All right, and here is uh, the Borderless. Um, uh, not Borderless, but here is the full art lands we're going to be looking at here. Wrestling. I used to watch WWF back in the day, WWE. Anyone else? I don't know. Um, Island Swamp. Um, pretty cool. I mean, these are pretty nice. They stand out. They look fresh. I really like that forest and the mountain there. Um, Swamp. They're all, they're all looking pretty good. But that is all of it. Um, are you guys going to be buying this? Who is going to buy this is the question. I, I'm very curious about that one too. Not against it. I just, I, I, I like sticking to the, the normal cards, you know, um, just the regular cards. Let me play, let me play my game. Let me have some fun. Uh, but I don't really venture off too much because then you're, you're, you're buying cards for a game, but then for this, you got to buy these cards separately to play a separate kind of game. You know, it's like, it's a game and a game and a game, whatever you want to say, but very interesting stuff blends you up. And, uh, yeah, the secret layer stuff yet again, I'm a fan. Uh, again, I know I'm in the minority. I don't care. Uh, bad boy gaming has been in the minority ever since this channel, uh, first, you know, arrived on the scene. Uh, the community really didn't care for me much back then, and you know I state my opinions and just throw them out there. I haven't done a video like this in a while though. Uh, this is my thoughts. That's it. I'm Joy Moss, man. Um, bad boy gaming. I am who I am, and uh, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this because really, it's the whole of the community that matters that pushes and drives the sales of these cards. If they weren't making money off of these, they wouldn't be selling them. But holy crap! All in all, you're probably looking at. I know like I have ADHD like crazy, and I was going on a little tangent there before. Total cost to print this is, and to have it shipped is probably under $5 for them per box. And they're selling them for $29.99 to $39.99. It's a lot of money they're making right there. Absolutely. But also, you're getting cards for cheaper than what they normally would cost. <laughs> and you're getting some pretty sweet-looking artwork. Now, a lot of these people, a lot of people I've heard aren't fans of the cartoonish-looking artwork. And yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that either. I thought they'd make it kind of more like, you know, like grim. Like some of them are really cool. This one, I like the goblin spin, what they did with the goblins. I think that's a cool little spin. But what I don't like here, I know what I really do like is this right here. This is this is really cool. This I think they did a bang up job on this. This is one set I got. Um, I didn't get this set though, which is nice, whatever. Um, I really want to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this. I'll stop rambling. I, I rambled the last like 10 minutes of this video. Uh, but yeah, let me hear it, man. Would you buy this? Are you buying this? Have you bought this? Are you buying the unsanctioned? Should I open the unsanctioned? Um, let me hear it all, man. Spill your beans. And uh, yeah, especially you in the back who never, ever, ever, ever comments on my videos, but watches them. I want to hear from you guys, you know? I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear from the fans, all right? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. I'll be dropping another video later today. Skidink, skidink, skadoosh.